Godof Shema has been booted out of Labour's caucus after a fortnight of accusations against his colleagues. And his future with the party itself now hangs in the balance. Here's political reporter Amelia Wade. The doctor back in the capital. Well, I just want to present my case and uh, hope that there is a man. man. Gurdjieff Schoenmann greeted with a couple of pats on the back from protesters also headed to Parliament. The rebel MP on his way there too to have his fate decided. I'm asking for a fair investigation and a fair trial. After 13 days of trickling out secret recordings, caucus leaks and screenshots, his colleagues rocking up and rounding on Schirma. There are real concerns about his uh, behaviour and the lack of trust. Clearly there's been um, some behaviours that... Uh, we don't support. It's attention-seeking behaviour. Everyone headed to this same awkward caucus meeting, the Prime Minister and Sherma. He has certainly made statements that are blatantly incorrect. Statements like accusations, former whip Kieran McAnulty is a bully. I'm not a bully. I I've never bullied anybody. Though because Sherman was suspended, he had to rock up, then wait outside for his expulsion matter to be called. He went in, then an hour later, the verdict. Exiled. I think it was 61 to 1 abstention and 1 no uh, to expel me. Are you gutted? Um, look, I guess, uh, you know, when you're on the path of truth, um, you know, you have to think about all consequences. Continuing to push for his truth path despite his expulsion. Kieran should have the same right to have his name cleared out in public. Just you're the one You're the one who's dragging his name through the mud. No, but that's what I'm saying, right? So having an independent investigation means he gets that right of, of putting his viewpoint forward. But from the Labour Party's perspective, this matter is now concluded and resolved. Sherma out, his former colleagues sending him on a one-way ticket to political Siberia. Well, Amelia joins us now from Parliament. And Amelia, will Sherman now be booted out of the Labour Party too? Yeah, so after there was uh, that vote to kick Shurima out of caucus, there was actually a second vote and MPs unanimously decided to refer Shurima to the Labour Party for further discipline. And that could see him booted out of the party entirely, meaning he can never run for Labour again. As for now, Shurima is deciding his own future, whether he actually even wants to stay on as an independent MP. But Labour will obviously be hoping that today was the brutal final episode in the saga that has been the drama with Dr Sherma and, and they're hoping that him being resiled to the uh, exiled to the backest of backbenchers means that he just fades into oblivion. And Amelia, some news tonight about the Speaker of the House. Yeah, that's right. Two months after Trevor Mallard signalled that he was going to be stepping down, it's just been announced that tomorrow will be his final day. He's heading off to Ireland to be the next ambassador there. Uh, the next speaker will be elected tomorrow, so sorry, politicos, that does mean that question time and general debate tomorrow will be cancelled. Amelia Namahi.